Hey, everybody. <sighs> so, here's the deal. Um, the Olympics are still going, and they're nearly done. <laughs> you know, like last week, I had... I, I talked on this very show here, because this is the only one I'm ever on. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's not true. I'm on other shows. Uh, America's Most Wanted, I've been on that. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. Yet. <laughs> oh, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> Did you just say good? Who said good? You said good? <laughs> yeah, you'd say that and then I'd do something like not tidy up my room and you'd be like, Oh, I can't believe you! <laughs> If you actually do something bad, you talk about being bad, everyone's like, oh, that's bad. And then you do something bad, and they're like, you have to go to jail. <laughs> anyway, I was talking on this show about uh, I, I had Olympic fever. And, uh, and I still kind of have it, although I'm getting a good bit fed up with it, really. <laughs> oh, all those Latvians and spandex, I've kind of had enough. <laughs> Can you have enough of Latvians and spandex? No, you cannot. Anyway, I'm not the only one with the Olympic fever, though. Morgan Freeman has it, too. Yes, he does. Take a look at this. Morgan Freeman's Guide to the Winter Olympics. The Winter Olympics can be breathtaking. The pageantry, the grandeur, and hot Danish chicks doing whatever the hell this is. But it all pales in comparison to... Bears playing hockey. Look at them. Do you believe in miracles? Well, I do now, because these damn bears are playing hockey. Get that puck, bear. Get it. Pass it to your bear friend now. a boy. Careful, Mr. Bear. There are penalties for excessive cuteness. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure, they'll tell you the Olympics are some kind of world series of hockey and blah 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 but it ain't worth a tinker's damn compared to bears playing hockey. My God, I could watch their earth sign antics all day. <laughs> are they going to eat that referee? I hope so. <laughs> I salute you, bears playing hockey. You made my whole damn week. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, it's enough. It's enough. Please sit down. Relax, everybody. Look, the sooner you cut that crap out, the sooner I can get on with my crap and we can all get out of here and get on with our lives. You go your way, I'll go mine. And it'll all seem like a dream. A sexy dream <laughs> where something really bad happened. <laughs> oh, I'm so creepy. <laughs> oh, you know what? What? I'll tell you, invisible friend, it is a great day for America. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It's, it's a great day for America, but it is a bad day for General Motors. They are, they're shutting down Hummer. Hummer, yeah, it's a car. Oh, my friend said. Hummer, you know, Hummer, 
they're, we were trying to sell the Hummer to the Chinese, but after careful consideration, the Chinese decided they didn't want it. So uh, <laughs> we won't be seeing any Chinese Hummers anytime soon. <laughs> You know you're in pretty bad shape when you can't even give away a Hummer. That, at that point... <laughs> I'm so creepy. It's also not a very good day for George Clooney. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> he's having to sell his house in Italy because of the paparazzi. Boo-hoo! No, he's, he's very... He says he has to move someplace where no one will find him. I'm like, well, why not here? a great day for Washington, D.C. It's always exciting in our nation's capital, but this week it's been especially exciting. It's times like this I wish I lived there, because this week in Washington, D.C., it's been the Consensus Development Con Conference. <laughs> ah. I'm so excited about this I can hardly say it. It's the... Consensus Development Conference on Lactose Intolerance. Yes, this week in Washington. I know, it's a real conference. Ha ha. Take that, Vancouver, you Canadian jerks. All you've got is the Winter Olympics. We've got a conference on lactose intolerance. Doctors and scientists from all around the world coming to D.C. to learn about lactose intolerance. This is true. Look at this headline. Look. Gaps found in lactose intolerance. <laughs> That's the front page of USA Today. That means, that means it's important. <laughs> lactose intolerance, if you don't know, is, a, is part of the dangerous triple threat to American life. Lactose intolerance, um, restless leg syndrome. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, I've got, it's terrible. I can't get any sleep. And then... And then the other thing that's really dangerous is whatever, whatever's treated with that head-on stuff that they think. <laughs> head-on, apply directly to the forehead. Head-on, apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> I'm glad, though. I, I think it's about time there was a conference devoted to lactose intolerance. Of course, it's not as big as last year's conference, PoopCon. <laughs> PoopCon! We're making quite a splash. Here's... Here's what the... That's enough. Don't, uh, don't applaud a poop joke. That's wrong. Anyway, here's what the scientists at the conference have concluded. I've been following this very, very carefully. Americans apparently don't fully understand lactose intolerance. And I think that's awful. <laughs> So I'll do my part to explain. Well, lactose is the sugar that is found in milk. So if you're lactose intolerant, it means you can't digest milk. Drinking milk makes you burpy or farty. <laughs> Those are medical terms, burpy or farty. Now, lactose intolerance isn't the only thing that does that. There's another condition with those symptoms. It's called being a guy. <laughs> And I'm sure there's a pill you can take to soothe the savage beast down below and then you can lead a normal life. That is, if a normal life entails you taking a pill every day so you can just drink milk. <laughs> I hate that phrase, a normal life, anyway. What the hell is a normal life? Doing what everybody else does? No way, man. Wearing a suit and sitting behind a desk. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, a lot of people are confused. They think lactose intolerant means you're allergic to milk. It doesn't mean that. It's not the same thing. Allergies can kill you. People who are allergic to peanuts have to be very careful. Peanut oil is found in foods you wouldn't expect to find it. If you're allergic to peanuts, you have to stay away from barbecue sauce, pumpkin pie, and uh, Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Can we have a picture of Mr. Peanut? There he is. Oh, here we are. Good old Mr. Peanut. He's He's awesome, isn't he? He looks so suave in that top hat and monocle. I wish my nuts looked that sophisticated when I, when I, when I dress them up. Come on, nuts, put on your Sunday best. Daddy's going out tonight. <laughs> I'm so creepy. 
Anyway, doctors say that if you're lactose intolerant, you shouldn't cut out milk entirely because your bones need calcium. That's true. Growing up where I grew up in, uh, you know, in a different country, well, you can see it out there. Uh, <laughs> we didn't have a uh, milk program, so for calcium, they just fed us chalk. <laughs> Innocent victims in all of this, though, are cows. I think it's cruel to subject cows to the humiliation of milking. Cows are not genetically designed to give humans milk. They're designed to give humans delicious hamburgers. <laughs> You're welcome. I look forward to your letters. Look, I didn't start it. All I'm saying is I enjoy a hamburger every now and again. Does that make me bad? Because if that makes me bad, then yeah, I'm bad. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> you know, because this is a late night show, this is, this is broadcast television. You can't swear, but I do all the time. Ooh, la, la. Right there, I just said it. <laughs> wow. And that's, and that's what they can broadcast. <laughs> Why do you think this set is so dark here? Is it because we don't have lights and we're just cheap bastards? No. <laughs> they have to keep it this dark because of the badness of what happens down here while I'm working. <laughs> Things get so sexy round them in this area that we have to keep it in the shadows. <laughs> So, yes. Well, I know it's commercial break time. I'm just telling them why their, their, their television is so dark. Uh, well, it, it, partially it's because we don't have any money to make a proper television show, and partially it's because I've got very exciting trousers. Well, the trousers are just cloth. <laughs> See you point at your watch. Ay, caramba! I am. I am. I. No, no, you wasn't. <laughs> no, we have to have a commercial break. I hope it's the vacuum cleaner with the proper amount of suction. <laughs> we'll be right back. word of the day. Today's word is Oscaroso. Oscaroso. Oh, Oscaroso. <laughs> this is my new wave I'm trying out. Yeah, I know. Uh, <clears throat> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, do you know what we should do right away, as soon as possible, do the uh, Twitters and the emails. You got the jingle? Right, do the jingle then. Twitter, Twitter, tweeting, tweeting, ephemeral, ephemeral, fleeting, fleeting, blue and web, face coat, twist, so, ass mode, jigs and tweets, 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 and also emails. Do, 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 do. You know, what I like to do, I, I like to read out, as you know, I, people Twitter or they send in emails and I answer their questions and, they, you know, it's any, anything at all they can send, they can ask anything at all and sometimes I answer them and sometimes I don't. <laughs> and sometimes it feels a bit lonely, sometimes I think, oh, if only I had a friend here to answer emails with me and then I think to me, ding dong, oh, is that someone at the door? <laughs> I bing-bonged and it came out of your mouth. I, I pressed the button, it came out of your mouth. There's a little wire in my seat. 
And it, the it, technology that got this country to the moon. That's right. <laughs> and in Europe, we haven't got to the moon. No, but we don't want to go. We didn't want to go in the first place. So I just want to point that out. Even though America got to the moon, we didn't want to go. I don't know if that's entirely <laughs> true. I don't think that's true. No, I think, you know the car thing? You know when there's two cars and they're going, whoa, 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 whoa. A race? Gonna go. Yeah, he's going to go. Yeah, 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 right. And, and, and then, well, the trick is, because one goes, and then you just don't do anything, and you laugh, and you laugh. That's what we did in, in Europe. We did, we did, you no, 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 there was a, no, there was a European space program. There was. There uh, is, there is. There, we, I mean, is. We and don't go to the moon, though. Well, we, that's, we, we space think, is big, you can go anywhere you like. You don't I have know, to go to the moon, I you know. can go to Mars. Or... I thought we should go, I don't know, somewhere. The ring, the rings of Saturn, some of the moons, I don't know. Go to the sun. Go to the sun. No, that's, no, that's... It's a real, you know, one of those Teflon covers and really, you know... The Teflon advertise on uh, CBS? They do now. Yeah. Just, you know, just... Can I just interrupt? I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, and we'll get to the emails and the Twitters, right. but I, I wonder, do you have a vacuum cleaner? I have... I, <laughs> I have the ball type. You do have, have that one? one? No, I don't. I do in my mind, though. Yeah, I would because, like... Because he's, he's a British inventor. I know, Mr. and he's got the proper amount of suction. He I says know. that. He invented the thing. No bags. Wait, wait, wait. He invented this? He invented What's that? that. Well, you see before, people would know this. They, 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 and you had a bag, and then you'd take the bag out, and the bag would go all oh, over Oh, it you. would be... And and you know what it would be? It would be asqueroso, eh? What's that? Disgusting. Oh, all yeah. right. Yeah. It was asqueroso. It was asqueroso. Asqueroso. Yeah, it's my Spanish word of the yeah, day. Yeah, I know. I speak French, so it's just... Oh, well, wow, that's, that's not going to help you out no. the old asqueroso. I'm, there, I'm trying to learn it, so when I get to Mexico, I can go, asquerosco. Oh, they'll say to you. He's just said he's disgusting. <laughs> Do something horrible. Will you answer the emails with me? Yeah. All right, then. This is from Sandy in La Mirada in California. Uh, she says, uh, Hey, Craig, today is my 15th wedding anniversary, and I won't be able to spend it with my husband because I have to work overtime. How should I make it up to him? I think have sex with him for a year continuously. No, no. <laughs> think it through. Okay. They've been married 15 years. Right. Perhaps not have sex with them for a not while. Not have sex continuously for a year. Yeah. Yes. And then make no. them wait. No, go to the moon. No. <laughs> Wait, she's in America, so she could. Not she in could. Europe. She'd be stymied. No, she couldn't go to wouldn't. the moon. Whereas the Russians, who are also Europeans, did nearly go to the moon. But the Russians aren't Europe. all Europeans. They're Asiatic Russians. No, well. that's over the Urals, baby. Okay. Um, oh. Oh. Mm. Ah, this is good. You'll like this. This is from Stan, Dallas, Texas. All right? Yeah. Are you cold? It's quite cold. No, I just thought I'd pretend to be cold. Oh, yeah, do that thing. Can you do that one? I can, yeah, hold on. Is that, is that? Go on, go on, go on, go on. If you did that in front of owls, they'd go, that's wrong. Oh, we've seen that. <laughs> These guys are not owls. They're not so owls, they like yeah, yeah. They're famous for not being owls. I know. They? You, you, know, you All right, this is owls. Stan, Stan in Dallas. Owls. He says, dear Craig, is it too ironic that I am reading Kafka at my parole meeting? <laughs> No, that that's that's perfectly perfectly ironic. ironic. Yeah, that's what uh, I'd like to say is that I like I'm I'm reading them with you, but I've lost my eyesight for the weekend. I can't see a thing. Yeah, I just, really? Well, it's it's gone it's it's gone really badly. So really? Yeah. Wow, well, it's I amazing because you should be able to see that. I <laughs> Well, uh, you've, yeah. got, you've got things blacked out. You're the FBI. No, no, I have to. You have to black out because what happens is if I put it up no, it's and FBI. it wasn't blacked out. It says. <laughs> <laughs> we won't have that kind of talk here, Mr. European. That's well, not the kind of language we use. We have to do that. That's what, that's what bleeping's all about. All right. This is a Twitter. Are yep. you still on the Twitter? Yeah. I went oh, on. I've got a message for you from Stephen Fry. Oh, really? Literally, he sent it a second ago. Oh, what Hang did you on. say? Uh, all right, what does he say? Um, give Craigie a kiss from me. I did his show on Tuesday. It was epic. No audience. He oh, it's... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that. All right, then. And, uh, uh, Sunday brunch. Oh, that's for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't ask, offer you Didn't, Sunday brunch. Well, I, could, I, could, I'll be, uh, yeah, I could come. Yeah, okay. You don't want me to come, do you? <laughs> The last thing on my mind. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, no, 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 we're talking. There's we're a talking. Twitter, there's a Twitter. Right. Um, <laughs> I keep doing this to look. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on. Do you have glasses? Yes. <laughs> look, look. Dun, Whoa, da, da, da. these are awesome dun, 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 Do they explode? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, James. James Bond in his older years. <laughs> <It's kind of laughs> if I could just shoot you in the head, Miss Moneypenny. Uh, all right. 
do people really change over time? My mom says she is going to dress appropriately, but hasn't happened yet. Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> From Angel in Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Yeah, her mother apparently uh, doesn't dress appropriately. Does, uh, what, do you, what do you think? Well, I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to think. Well, I read it out, but didn't listen to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do. Well, you're going to have to, you know... It's her, well, let, no, let me, let me no, paraphrase think, it for you. I, her mother is dressing inappropriately, and right. she's hoping that her mother will... No, I, well, I, she, her mother, her, her mother, her, his mother? Yes, her yeah, mother. Angel, Angel. She probably thinks she's dressing appropriately, and we can't tell because there's no picture. There's only a picture of a bird. In yeah, the, well, that's, that's CBS's way of letting me know that it's a Twitter as opposed to an email. They put a photograph <laughs> of, a, of a bird. I'm not kidding. Oh, by the way, when you were here last time, do you remember that we had this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's do you want cool. it, or are you okay with being you? No, I'm okay with... Because I could, I could wear this. I did it. I and yet you could wear one of me. And we could talk to each other. No, I quite like doing this. This is what I did last time. I think that's quite All right, interesting. And, and I, I've got one of me, so I'll do the one of me, right? Are, are you it, ready? Shouldn't it be this? No, you know, I, I've, got, right, I've got my one. Are you ready? <laughs> I can feel chemistry. What? Yeah. I feel chemistry. I, 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 can, I, can see. <laughs> I can feel geography. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, I can feel mathematics. We'll be right back after the commercial. <laughs> to the show everybody I was uh, doing emails with and Twitters with Eddie and we forgot to mention that Eddie is also hosting the Independent Spirit Awards Friday March the 5th at 8 p.m. on the IFC and my documentaries I believe on, on the 2nd of March which you didn't know that's the other thing we well, can come back for that and my socks are available no, all right, right that's <laughs> Independence for Eddie has already everybody off you First scheduled proper guest of the evening. <laughs> Bing bong! Uh, get out of here, Eddie. My first guest uh, stars in uh, the movie Cop Out, which is in theatres now. I've seen it. It's awesome. I haven't seen it, but I heard it's pretty good. <laughs> Please welcome Sean William Scott, everybody. Sean I was like, dude, I'm so happy to meet you right now. I'm a huge fan. He was like, yeah, whatever. Well, no, he was actually very nice. But yeah, I felt yeah. like the really lame fan. Was that the first time you met Eddie Izzard? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, other than watching all his stuff, but it was he's awesome. Not, he's normally not that drunk. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm so excited to see you again because I saw um, uh, I'll Be There after I heard about the... Oh, With the movie I, I made? Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't like I, that movie. Dude! No. You did a don't great do dude job. Don't do dude me! I'm not a dude! <laughs> yeah. Sir. Yeah. No, that's a great movie, oh, man. Oh, you like that movie? Yeah. I'm very proud of that movie. I don't, I don't understand why... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you don't do more movies. Like, you're hilarious in that. I heard that you don't want to. You don't like the process. It's not so much the process. Now, you know this, right? If you go to make a movie, like, you, you have to... Especially if you're raising the money for a movie and all that kind of stuff, there's a lot of jerks you have to talk to <laughs> yeah. for a long time. A lot. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I just, I mean, I prefer to, you know, I, I, the people I meet here are the actors and the, and yeah. the, and the directors. They're a lot of jerks out in They're world too, lovely. Though. No, they're the lovely ones, and I get to meet them, and I don't have to deal with the jerks who've got all the money. That, and, <laughs> and the movie didn't make any money, and no one will left. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you were so good in that, man. It was yeah. awesome. Thanks. And thanks. you wrote and directed that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's coming out this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever written a movie? Oh, did I ever read it? No, no, written, I rented it. Written. No, I saw it on TV. No, it no, was... not rented the movie. <laughs> I thought you were so mad that I didn't like buy the DVD. Yeah, I, just saw you... <laughs> I got Dude. a pirate copy in Hong Kong. <laughs> no, it was I awesome. mean, have you ever written a movie? Uh, <laughs> yeah, for the last ten years, it's called American Pie Ten. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but like, uh, no, I'm working on something. Yeah, it's called Ice Holes. It's about ice fishing, and uh, <laughs> I grew up in Minnesota. It seemed pretty fitting. Do you do you do you do you go ice ice fishing? Well, yeah, we we uh, yeah we. <laughs> it's kind of like a thing that you do when you grow up in Minnesota, and it's the most ridiculous sport. Have you ever done it? Uh, I. 
sort of kind of like that. It's hilarious, that. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. no, I haven't done it. No, oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> But I was trying to be your friend because you were nice about that movie. I, I, so I, I was like, sure, buddy, I've been uh, in the great. Yeah. Dude, it's not a but cool I, thing to do, by the way. Well, no, I'm not proud fishing? of it. Uh, ice hole, ice hole fishing? Yeah, it's not. It's not, cool. <laughs> it's not called ice hole fishing, dude. What is it's it called? called? Ice fishing. Oh, I saw it. Oh, I feel such a fool. Dude, no, no, there's a real proper name for yeah, it. All right, sorry. Do you have a little tent and a stove, and you go out there and do it? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, you got a shack, which is different than a tent, I guess. Oh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. just like you have a little hole in the in the lake, and you just have this like piece of wood, and you wait for the orange flag to go up, and then you got a little fish. Dude, people do this all the time in Minnesota. It's crazy. <laughs> I thought it was a great idea for a film. Uh -huh. yeah. Big time. Yeah, Big that's time. what I'm thinking. <laughs> Want to go out on the ice there? <laughs> yeah, you know I do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. How have you been? Because the last time you were going to be here, you you got you were late and you were in traffic. It was terrible. I wasn't late, dude. I didn't make it. Oh yeah, you didn't turn up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was all that. Yeah. Oh my God. Don't was that so... new tattoo? Oh, I had it for a while when I went in prison that first time. Yeah? Well, that was a rough one. Does that go all the way up? I had a hard time standing up. Yeah, uh... I got a new one, but since uh, I saw you look... No look way! Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's awesome. One. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Let's see that. That's, uh... That. What is it? That is awesome, yeah, bro. Yeah, I know. Hey! So, uh, you, yeah, now I got, I'm a I got, dude. Now I'm a dude. You are such See, a dude. Yeah, yeah. I got the starfish-looking one. You got the badass one. Yeah, that's bad. See, and you know that's when you, you know what you do is you say that when the snake is happy, it wags its tail. <laughs> Did you start thinking about the first, ta the next tattoo you're gonna get? Yeah, after? yeah. I'm, I feel it's like I need two more, two more. Yeah, dude. I mean, the first tattoo I got was a, a little lightning bolt. I'm like, oh, <laughs> not the coolest thing ever. Little, I was little 20 bit years gay, old. Oh, yeah, gay. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, 20 that, years yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> I was 20 years old, and my friends came down from Minnesota after an ice fishing trip, yeah, yeah. ice hole fishing trip, <laughs> and um, and they're like, hey, we want to get you a gift. We're in Venice Beach, and they're like, we want to get you a tattoo. I'm like, okay. And they're like, uh, you used to be really f like fast when you ran in sports. I'm like, okay. Why don't you get a lightning bolt tattoo? I'm like, okay. Right. Worst idea ever. Why? Craig, I got a teal lightning bolt tattoo on my right thigh. As I was getting that one, another guy goes, hey, that looks awesome. I'm going to get the same one on my left leg. I'm like, great idea, because I wanted everybody to suffer at this point. So he right. got the same thing. Then another one of my friends goes... Oh, you're the, like the lightning bolt gang. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, well, okay. You yeah, you're see right. my right thigh. Uh, I, it's not adorable. It's not? No. What's wrong with your right thigh? You're in shape. My right thigh isn't. No, really? No, that's, it's, that's, it's, it's not proportionate to my left. Do you know what? I, I, did, I will tell you this. When I got tattoo, I got a couple of tattoos on my oh, shoulders. Really? right? Sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then when I got them done, then I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to work out again. Because if, <laughs> you, know, you, if they just like, like that, <laughs> if you work out, they go, uh, 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 yeah, uh, right yeah. Again. Chicks like it, too. Uh, not, when they're not, not when they're saggy. No, no. They, they don't like it. Arms. If they have to lift yeah. anything to see the tattoo, <laughs> then, uh, that's not good. Have you ever had a friend that said that they were so overweight they couldn't see their penis? Yeah, yeah, I do. Is that I, an awkward I, thing to comment about? Yeah, when like, somebody says, I. What I do you say to them? Like, oh, no, I'm sure well, you, you just see your let penis. me have a look at it, is what I say. <laughs> let me have a look at it. Now, check it out for you. Yeah, if you're good. <laughs> No, I've, I've never been. I've, I've been overweight, though. I got pretty. I, I've lost 30 pounds in the last year. What? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I saw you. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I, I saw you. I was drinking the lattes. I was drinking the big oh, giant. Yeah. Oh, they're tasty. Yeah, all the, the big the uh, crystal methachino thing. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I remember I did uh, one of my classic films, Evolution. I'm sure you've seen it ten that's, times. That's you've rented that one. That's a real sure. good one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and David Duchovny goes. Oh, you got it. This is like my second film, and he goes, "You got to try out the breakfast burritos, dude." I get, I'm sorry, Craig. That's yeah, sorry. Right, yeah. uh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah you the are. The snake is happy. happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. He goes. You got to try out the breakfast burritos, uh, it's, which I did because I didn't want to disappoint him. I gained 20 pounds. I got so fat in that movie, man. No, that really? was like no, the only thing I can brag about. But uh, but yeah, I know what it's like to get fat. <laughs> There's really no point to my story. I mean, That's no, right. It fits in, that it fits in with the whole show. Years. No, it fits in with the whole show. But I don't remember you. I saw you, what, no, two it, years it ago? Was, it was all on my right thigh. <laughs> 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 no, I, 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 yeah, no, I got, yeah, I was beefy. Yeah. I mean, you, know, you know what's, I don't know about how, because I've gained weight, and it's funny how, like, I try to embrace it, and, and people, I, I have my, my family come out, and it's like, you got fat. I'm like, I'm uh, sorry, are you in movies? Yeah. Like, no. You're like, so don't give me a, yeah. Give me a yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> hey, we're, we're, we're out of time. We're, we're completely out of time. I was talking about how fat I was. Yeah, no, well, listen, I, you want to do, uh, I've, I've been doing this thing with uh, selected guests, like at the end of the, the little talk, like maybe ending with an awkward pause.
<laughs> Hope that's easy for me. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. What we do is we, we do an awkward pause. Okay. All right. Long as a pause, <laughs> time, dude. I'm so I'm, I'm awkward. I guess you can't take awkward. <laughs> Sean Williams, go, everybody. Be right back. Hang on, let me just check. The snake is happy. <laughs> the snake is angry. <laughs> By the, <laughs> the snake apparently is gay when it gets angry as well. <laughs> the snake is angry. <laughs> my, uh, my next guest is one of the world's uh, top selling authors. Her latest book is called Poor Little Bitch Girl. <laughs> Ooh, I think I threw my back out there. <laughs> Please welcome the legend and beauty that is Jackie Collins, everybody. Jackie Collins. Listen, this book cover here, look yes. at this. This is sexy. It's sexy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Could you this... do that? You know how you do stuff. Could I could you do, do it if you, if you put something tasty on my finger, I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> what did you have in mind? Well, I, I was thinking chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice, chicken, yeah. Nice piece of chicken. That's <laughs> how I was doing it. You know, I was on, uh, on Good Morning America, and they couldn't mention the book. They oh, couldn't say the title? The because yeah. it's got... They couldn't say Poor Little Bitch Girl on morning television. How? What's the coming across? What's that? <laughs> That's so, yeah, that is. You're right. Hello. Hello. Who wrote this no. book? Uh oh. <laughs> Hello. Are there any I'm, I'm, Am I in this one, by the way? Uh, well, you could be the poor little bitch girl. No, you? no. In the <laughs> last the one, you girl, said I was in the last one. You were. You were Don Verona. Yeah. The very sexy talk show host. That's right. Which reminds me. Yes. I was reading in the L.A. Times that Marie Claire magazine voted you as the talk show host that most women wanted to sleep with. Yes, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. Oh yeah. It sounds good, that. Jackie, that, that sounds good. And then you line up all of us guys that do this. And then you go, I see. <laughs> yeah, Jay and yeah. Conan. I mean, the ladies are lusting after Jay and Conan, right? Oh, maybe they are. I don't know. I uh, can't talk about any oh, of that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We don't mention we don't the old mention those NBC no. oh, debacle okay. here. Okay. Whenever that comes up, I just go, ha, 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 ha. That's all. I am a little... Concerned though, because I watch your show. You right? watch this? Show? I watch the show all the time, every uh -huh. night. I TiVo it, right? And I watch it. Why do all the women want to touch your snake? Well, you know, you can have a go at no, it, and then you'll know. I don't, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Well, but they all go for your snake. God, the snake is happy. Oh. <laughs> Well, I think, it's no. a, I think it's to do, it's a symbolism for a penis. For them, not for me. I, uh... And also, I read your Twitter about your balls. Oh, I Twitter today, yeah. Yes. I Twitter today. Yes. Do you, are you on the Twitter? I am on the Twitter, yes, What's your Twitter I love name? it. I'll, I'll sign I'm up Jackie J. Collins. Jackie, why, yes. why the J? Because somebody stole my name. But it's so much fun because you get to talk to people. I know you, you're at midnight, you've had enough of the television, and you think, oh, I'll just go no, on no, Twitter no, for a second. No, 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 1.37, you've had enough of the television. <laughs> Come on, a bit of help here, Jackie. If you're, if you're any more negative about this show, I'm going to start calling you CBS. Oh. <laughs> the last movie I did was for CBS. I really? produced a movie, yeah, for CBS. That was about five years ago. What was it called? It was called Hollywood Wives, The New Generation. Oh, that was great. With yes. Farrah Fawcett. Yes. yes it was oh, her God last movie. Her, yeah. yeah, I know. Mm. She was great, Farrah. She mm. was a lovely woman. Were you friendly with her? I was, Did yeah. you know all the Charlie's Angels? 
I do know them all, yes. Yeah. They were great girls. They were fabulous. That was kind of a, an interesting time. You wrote a lot about that, the, the kind of 70s and 80s in Hollywood. Yes, didn't? I did. I'm, I'm going to do a photo book, yeah. Were you were you uh, very uh, active in the social scene? Excuse me? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> were you active I in the social scene then? write erotic sex. Well, I, I, can't, I can't narrow my eyes when I say that with you, because last time I was on, you said, every time you say sex, you narrow your eyes. I was yeah. wondering why you were talking to me like yes. that all yes, the time. Yes. <laughs> Do you do, do you do a no, little I bit? No, I want to know about you. I want to know how it felt to be voted the, the guy the talk show host that everybody wanted to sleep with. Well, it was lovely. Did you <laughs> did you feel like you know when Brad or, or George are on the cover of People and they're the sexiest man alive? Yes, and they did are. Did you feel like the sexiest talk show alive? Well, I, I refer you back to my original statement. I yes. mean, it's sexy within a, a rain, a guy, a bunch of guys who come on, be fair. You know, we're uh, not. Oh, oh, you know, oh, we're oh. not going to all. Be on okay. the cover of it's not Twilight okay. with the talk show host. Okay. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Are you watching the Vampire Diaries? That's the no. Best. I don't. I can't. I can't get serious about any kind of vampire that would keep a diary. That just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> That's just not threatening. Does Dracula like me or like me? It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Do you watch it? Of course. Really? I love it. Do you like it's all fun. this new sexy vampire uh, wave? No, of... only the Vampire Diaries, because the guys on it are really hot and they're good. And I love, I love watching those guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like watching hot, hot guy shows? Do you ever go no, to Vegas like, and I... see the male strippers? I have done so. You have done? Yeah, there's a picture on my website with me and the male strippers. Yeah. Because I need to know their story. So I have to talk to them, ladies. You understand that, don't you? I have really to say. Really, what did you have to go out how, and like, feel them out, see what the? Yeah. Uh, were you were you were you abused as a child? Is that why you're taking it off and showing your goods? <laughs> I'm actually going to write an autobiography. Shall I tell you the title? Yeah, go on. Yeah, it's uh, Reform School or Hollywood. Reform School or Hollywood. Which is, is what that... my parents said to me when I first came to Hollywood, having been thrown out of school like you were. Yeah, well, I 15. wasn't really thrown out. I just kind of drifted away to a bar. Oh, <laughs> so did I. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. And, and then you, uh, you ended up in Hollywood and were very successful. I ended up, you know, elsewhere. Your, <laughs> CBS. Oh, I read your book, your autobiography. Oh, Fantastic. yeah, I wrote that. I know. Hey! You, I mean, you wrote it. You wrote it. I loved it. Do you like it? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that, that you are a very clever writer. But you're also very rude, and I like I'm that. I'm very but rude. He's yeah, rude yeah. in a clever way. You know, sometimes so. sometimes people think that you are very sexy because you write very sexy, uh, you know, books. Are you a very sexually oh, active person? Oh, I'm completely straight-laced. Really? Because yeah. I am exactly what I. Like. <laughs> oh, really? oh, you, you believe that? <laughs> oh no, you're very you're very kind of sexually adventurous then. Well, are you? Absolutely. But you're not. Yeah. You're married. I'm That's single. That's right. I'm married, can be but sexually still adventurous. Doesn't... You can't because what? you're married. You see, well. married men have to be faithful. Uh, the late Louis Maul called me a raunchy moralist, and that's because <laughs> that's because I write very raunchy books, as you will see in Poor Little Bitch Girl. Oh well, right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I'll plug it again. Oh. Oh yeah. The, the, right. the title, the title that couldn't be said. Yeah, no, and I like that. The, the... Yeah. I, I think it's a good title, yeah. yeah and no, I have a cheating politician in the book. Politicians don't cheat on their wives. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and he promises to... You know what these married guys do? What? They always say to the woman, I'm not sleeping with my wife. And the woman believes them. And then the wife gets pregnant, and they look at the wife and they go, Oh, well, I had to. It was her birthday. <laughs> You're writing about me again, I see. <laughs> Jackie, it's lovely to see you again. We're completely out of time. Come oh, back soon. It's, been it's too always long. good to be here. Come yes. back soon, then. I'll write another book and I'll be here. Oh, a couple of weeks? Okay. We'll see you All then. Right. Jackie Collins, everybody. That's it, we're done. I don't have any time to talk. We've only got, oh, five more seconds. So, better get wrapped up and get out of here quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we learned tonight. When the snake's happy, he wags his tail. Good night, everybody. Good night.